A couple of months ago, we published a video on CMMC Level 3 requirements. Naturally, that video was awesome. The problem, though, is that CMMC Level 3 requirements have since changed quite a bit since that video was published. You see, way back when our first video was published, CMMC was at version 1.2. A couple of months after we published that video, the CMMC Accreditation Body, or AB, announced a massive shift in the upcoming certifications requirements with the introduction of version 2.0 in November of 2021. Obviously, we waited a few months after 2.0's release because we didn't want to have to quickly remake another version of this video. Although final rulemaking hasn't happened yet, it's been several months since 2.0 came out, and we think that now is the appropriate time to redefine CMMC 2.0 Level 3 requirements. Hi everyone, I'm Albert from eTactics, and today I'm going to explain CMMC 2.0's Level 3 requirements. Now before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. And also, hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new and helpful content, you'll get notified. Before going through the requirements, I need to explain the biggest systematic change that CMMC 2.0 brought forth. CMMC 2.0 condensed five levels of certification into three. In the older versions, CMMC Level 3 was where most of the defense industrial base was going to land. Any level beyond Level 3 was for the big boys of the DIB. Maybe five or so contractors would have to achieve Level 5. Well, the old Level 3 is now Level 2, and Level 4 and Level 5 are now Level 3. I know, that sounds confusing, so let me break it down so that it's a little bit easier to understand. Level 3 of CMMC 2.0 is built on the requirements of Level 1 and 2. You can't just skip right to level 3 without first providing that you've met every requirement laid out in levels 1 and 2. Level 1 is the foundational level, 17 practices, annual self-assessment. Level 2 is the advanced level, 110 practices aligned with NIST SP 800-171 triennial third-party assessments for critical national security information and annual self-assessments for select programs. Level 3 is now the expert level. 110 plus practices based on NIST SP 800-172 and triennial government-led assessments. Under CMMC 2.0, you must pass an assessment conducted by a certified third-party audit organization, C3PAO, at level 2 before you can try to pursue CMMC level 3's requirements. So what are the requirements for CMMC level 3? The most challenging level to achieve will be level 3, the expert level. This level is for contractors dealing with the CUI in the highest priority program. Level 3 builds on the preparatory work of the prior two levels. In short, its main focus is achieving expert CUI confidentiality and integrity by incorporating NIST SP 800-171 Rev 2 plus other protections. We don't know yet what additional practices will be added, but DOD has said that they will come from the enhanced security requirements for protecting CUI called NIST SP 800-172. Not super helpful, but what about required CMMC Level 3 controls? Perhaps there is a better chance that your organization might fall under CMMC Level 3 than you may have originally thought. If you're in this camp, then your team probably has experience with NIST NSP 800-171, and hopefully you're already feeling confident about the implementation and documentation of these controls. As we take a look at the anticipated controls for Level 3, there are two statements that will guide our analysis. The Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment said, Level 3 will incorporate a subset of NIST SP 800-172 requirements. And Ron Ross from NIST said, SP 800-172 is in good shape right now, and NIST has no plan to update it in 2022. From these statements, we can conclude that all Level 3 requirements will come from NIST SP 800-172 and NIST does not plan on adding any new controls to that framework this year. That gives us a potential for 35 additional practices and 98 assessment objectives from NIST SP 800-172. The original CMMC model sourced 15 practices from NIST SP 800-171B, which was still a draft NIST publication at the time. NIST has since finalized SP 800-171B and published it as SP 800-172, 
With the assessment guide, NIST SP800-172A, still in draft status. We looked back at the level 4 and level 5 practices from 171B in CMMC version 1.02 and found those same 15 practices still match the NIST SP800-172 publication from February of 2021. So what are those 15 controls from NIST SP800-172? Access Control 3.1.3e, Awareness and Training 3.2.1e and 3.2.2e, Configuration Management 3.4.3e, Incident Response 3.6.1e and 3.6.2e, Risk Assessment 3.11.1e, 3.11.2e, 3.11.5e, and 3.11.7e, Security Assessment 3.12.4e, and System and Information Integrity 3.14.1e, 3.14.2e, and 3.14.6e. There are also other potential practices. CMMC 2.0 delegated the grouping of practices for maturity levels 1 and 2 to the creators of the frameworks. For example, the 17 cybersecurity practices at level 1 come from the framework created by FAR 52.204-21. DoD removed the Delta 20 practices to bring the framework for level 2 in line with NIST SP800-171. So when we read the current guidance that level 3 will be a subset of NIST SP800-172, this would seem to conflict with the strategies taken for levels 1 and 2. We believe DoD may ultimately adopt all 35 practices from NIST SP800-172 to be the basis of the framework for level 3. Until rulemaking occurs, July 2022 to December 2023, we may not know what practices will be in level 3. If your long-term plan is to achieve level 3, we would recommend treating NIST SP800-172 as the complete framework to implement. If you went back and watched our previous video on CMMC Level 3 requirements and compared it to this one, it seems like everything has changed. Although Matt did give a great analogy and reference to the movie War Dogs featuring Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. In any case, the requirements for CMMC Level 3 still haven't been finalized yet. If you'd like to learn more about CMMC, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.